Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all had a very good weekend. I know I certainly did, even though if I am paying for it today. But today we're looking at something called Beyond Protocol. And Beyond Protocol is unique in the fact that it has absolutely amazing people behind it. Indeed, it has been touted as the next top three coin. Now, before we get into it, I want you to, to watch the video that's on the website and I'll give you a good overview of what they're trying to do. The lights are turning on. The machines we built are waking up. They're listening. And today we have a decision to make. What language will we teach them? Will our devices speak hatred and division? Will we allow them to do us harm? Will we impart on our machines the worst of our nature or our greatest strengths? The machines are talking. Will they make us better? Stronger? The revolution isn't coming. It's already here. Introducing a blockchain so powerful and so secure, it creates a new language and a new set of rules. Others might know how to corrupt machines, but we know how to unite them because we've developed a new denomination and a new democracy for smart machines worldwide. We're gonna put ethics back into technology for good. So that's the Beyond Protocol intro video. As you can see, they are trying to utilize machines and technology for the greater good rather than you know a lot of humans are great at creating stuff but they often create for the wrong reason or they use these creations in the wrong way now beyond protocol is a silicon valley based company they were created in 2018 and the, whole idea, and the whole idea is to merge distributed ledger technology with IoT, which is the Internet of Things. And this eliminates hacks and facilitates machine-to-machine -machine value transfer. So we're going to go through the overview. You click on there, you have overview, okay. Right, and there's some very quirky and interesting statements as you go through the overview. It's pretty quick. It's only 15 pages long, but this is brilliant. The dead simple cryptocurrency for devices. Turn on the next 100 years with one line of code. Does not contemplate Armageddon. Right, so it's blockchain technology plus IoT. And as I said, when you combine the two, no more hacks and uh, security is a given. And so their example here is using them like threads of yarn, the dreamers among us can weave together inventions we would never have taught to conceive. And they have a very utopian-based mindset with this project. It's, uh, it's very interesting. And so they, re they reference the App Store a little bit here and uh, essentially building the App Store of the future, which will create new mega industries. And so the problem, due to cyber security issues, cross-silo IoT communication has been impossible. Allowing your device for open communication with other untrusted devices makes it susceptible to breaches and hijacks. All intruders need to do is convince your device some change of state is acceptable. And that is a major issue, actually. Let me scroll on to the solutions. In a distributed ledger framework, a set of devices would need to reach consensus for change of state to occur. Now, due to the inherent atomic randomness of silicon, developers' chips endow it with unique fingerprints. So essentially, they're trying to create the cybersecurity holy grail. And so what they've created can be embedded into the chip, enabling not only security by verifying and signing transactions, but an automated transaction state engine inside a trusted ledger. Beyond protocol enables a new marketplace for developers and device manufacturers where they can define value transfer parameters with the trust of blockchain-based ledger technology, enabling a new economic model for IoT devices. And they go on then to talk about adoption. But one of the most interesting things here about this is the team 
the team and the advisors. Now, this is this is very interesting because the team consists of right first off Stanford engineers, but then you have executives from IBM, Amazon, Warner Brothers, and indeed one of the advisors was a senior advisor in the Obama administration. And I think that's why a lot of people are so excited about this project. Indeed, here we are. Brian Ford, Senior White House Advisor to Obama, co-founder of Digital Currency Initiative, MIT Media Lab. And and that is the that's the overview of Beyond Protocol. But let me try and break it. Let me try and simplify it for you. Okay. So if you think about all these devices and all this new technology, right? Allowing them to communicate with each other opens up security issues. And so that's what they're trying to address. And a little bit of history on them. Uh, like I said, created in 2018, but after a year of research and development, in 2019, the team put forth the first iteration of their novel technology to a handful of partners. Now, this technology allowed its partners with just one line of code to enable secure messaging between the devices plus equipped the devices with a cryptocurrency-based payment gateway. And currently, there's no out-of-the-box solution for this. So they're seeking to build real practical solutions for device security and payments for consumers to devices. And soon, they will build a full ecosystem and economy around this. They 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 have some like I said they have some interesting statements, and one of them is beyond envisions a future where good triumphs over evil, and technology can work to create an exponentially more safe and more beautiful world. Let's have a quick look at their tokenomics. Now, these guys are. I know they have uh, several years behind them in development and moving forward, but. They don't even have a ticker yet. And so the reason why I said put these guys on your radar is because they're at such an early stage. And so when you get into this project, which I know that there is going to be a token sale in Q3 this year, you're going to be getting in so early. Can you imagine if they do turn out to be a top three um, coin? And as I said, look, the symbol, the ticker hasn't even been determined yet. But it will be ERC20 compliant. The supply is going to be 500 million. The percentage of tokens sold to date is 4.9%. And the percentage of tokens supply allocated to advisors, 6.07. The last market capitalization based on this was $100 million. The last token offering exchange ratio was one beyond token for 20 cents. So look, a beyond protocol is still in stealth mode, essentially. Uh, they plan to unveil key partnerships in Q3 2021 ahead of their token generation event. Like I said, some of the key advisors are massive on this. If you want to hear, if you want to know more about these, their Telegram group is very active. There's over 18,000 people in there. That tells you a lot about the the amount of interest in this product. I think these guys have the potential to be huge. The fact that they have so experienced and knowledgeable people behind the project. You know, the people that are behind this are hugely successful. You don't get to that stage of success without an insatiable drive to succeed. Right, look, it's um, look, that's beyond protocol. Like I said, put it on your radar. Very, very new project. This is a project for the long term. And so holding this token when it actually comes out or when you can get your hands on it could prove to be very, very wise move. So look, that's uh, Beyond Protocol. Let me know in the description what you think of them. Like I said, head over to the Telegram group, check them out. I will have a new video up later on today. All the links to Beyond Protocol are in the description, plus the link to the Telegram group. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.